Oh, yeah. Guess who broke himself away from Dang and Rompa? Guess who, guess who broke himself? The internet is upset over the first look at the new Ninja Turtles. Nickelodeon. Where's. Even a little bit. You might want where's to the redesign? Pass, pass out from a combination of nostalgia and rage just. Now, for those of you who didn't pass out from a. Man, can we. Okay, there we go, folks. Why? You know, the reason why I'm mad. We gotta make these characters look like their traits. So we gotta make friggin' we gotta we gotta make Raphael we gotta make Raphael like this because that's what that's because you know he's a big guy he's supposed to be a producer blah 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 well, like you know even in Sonic Boom it never really made any sense you know what's you know what's even worse folks what's what yonk what's worse is that the fact that they feel the need to do this like look at look at look at look at Donatello. Donatello look like a eye. That that's not normal. That's not that's not freaking normal. Look at that. Dude, I don't even know. This is just weird. Like, is that dude like carrying Donatello? I mean, you know. There ain't nothing wrong with their... I mean, there's nothing wrong with everybody else's design, but Raph's design, why is he too big? Why is the Injustice version of the Ninja Turtles look a lot better than this? Well, because the Injustice Ninja Turtles actually look like the Ninja Turtles from the old movies. Oh, they make sense. Oh my sweet Jesus is just like I'm like <laughs> young. Yeah, bugs. I mean everybody else's things kinda look okay, but I feel like oh it's the same as it's the same thing with Boom Knuckles. Like, oh, he's supposed to be the big tough guy, so you know what? Let's make him huge. Like he's got roids, like he's he's both like Arnold for those of you who didn't pass out from a combination of nostalgia and rage just now, there's obviously a lot to unpack here. First off, unlike the Ninja Turtles of old, who, besides wearing different colored masks and carrying unique weapons, looked largely identical, these turtles actually look visually different from each other. The differing body types of the new turtles have everything to do with their places on the team. Uh, According no. to a synopsis released by Nickelodeon, as the oldest and physically biggest brother, Raphael, is now the leader, and his enthusiasm and bravado puts him front and center. What? Wait a minute, now, now, now. This is worse than the design. Why is Raph the leader? What the? How? Why is Raph the fucking leader? Yeah, that is, that is true. That's the thing that upset me. Raph can't be the leader because all he ever does is get, ra get ragey and fucking angry. Every time, and all those times he's ever gotten angry, he always he always gets he always gets the freaking Ninja Turtles in the freaking in the freaking danger when he's all ragey and shit. But no 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 no, let's make him the leader. Let's make him the leader. Bugs, this this pro this probably might be good, man. We don't know. I know, but God damn, I understand a little shakeup, but dude. Dude, it's like you guys took the rug from up under us and then just beat us up with a wet piece of newspaper and said, this is your piss. But, but, I will give it a shadow of a doubt. I will give it, we'll wait until we watch it because we don't know how this, how this is going to be in motion. Uh, yeah, you're right, but. Honestly, though, like, let's be real, Bugsy. This this might not be pretty good, man. But, I mean, hopefully they can prove us wrong, because we'd like to be proven wrong. 
but uh, it's not looking Most good. Of their bizarre adventures. Leonardo, the self-professed coolest brother, possesses irreverent charm and a rebel heart. Donatello. I think that's backwards. Oh, yeah. a unflappable mechanical genius and tech wizard whose ninja skills are second only to his coding. And finally, Michelangelo, the youngest brother, an artist and awesome skip- Man, freaking Michelangelo looks like a goddamn frog. Looks like a three-eyed frog with a lit feline canine little cat dog. Skateboarder with a wild, colorful, and imaginative personality. So it looks like the personalities of Donatello and Michelangelo are largely going to stay the same, but now Raphael is the leader and Leonardo is cooler than a hundred Arthur Fonzarelli's. Hey. No. Now, one of our no. favorite parts of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was Raphael's brooding tough guy personality, and it's a bummer that we might be losing that, but we're optimistic that this new direction will still be a ton of fun. And speaking Hopefully. Of Hopefully. I'm, I'm just not crazy with Raph's design. I mean, the others, I guess. But Raph, though... It's like, it's like kids today. They need these characters looking buffer. They need these characters looking like Rob Liefeld's fucking, uh, fucking uh, aborted designs. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm a Nickelodeon executive. I need to blow my freaking Nick load. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I'm just joking at this point, but uh, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I I could be a little bit more angry, but other than design, I'm hoping that this is good. That's all I'm hoping for. That's that's all I'm really hoping for. Of the turtle's half rat mentor, Splinter. Oh, what the fuck? Traditionally, Master Splinter is rat mentor, Splinter. What? Bug Bugsy, what the fuck is that? That isn't fucking Splinter, that's a goddamn rat mixed with old Hobbs. What the fuck? Bugsy? Bugsy, listen to me. Listen to me. This shit is weird. No, I mean, like, oh my god, what the fuck is that thing? Look at that thing, that don't even look like Splinter, that looks like a fucking alien. That... That went inside Splinter. It, it's it. <coughs> Told you not to eat all that. Told you not to eat all that smoke before we started. Eh. Well, it had. Ah. Yeah, you shouldn't eat it all. Oh, I didn't eat all of it. It's half, half and half. But seriously, look at this freaking rat. That don't even look like Splinter now. Because Splinter is wise. This motherfucker look like... Yes. I'm about to take the shit on everything and everybody you love when I'm going to make you sit and watch, young ones. Your ninja training is when I take a shit and you're going to look at my anus. Yes. <laughs> Now, traditionally, Master Splinter is always seen as someone well past his fighting age, but this version of Splinter looks like he could tear apart the entire Foot Clan with his bare claws. If the new series really does give us a Splinter that's primed and ready for the battlefield, it could be pretty damn sweet. Now, we also, had that before. Just so saying, just a chill bot. The turtles have new weapons. Leonardo replaced his trusty katana with what looks like a lightsaber. Michelangelo swapped out his nunchucks for a two-handed whip slash morning star combo. Raphael threw away his sigh in exchange for a pair of tonfas. Why? Their shit is iconic. Because you know, parents probably freaking was like, you know, they're too violent for our kids. I'm a soccer mom, and I feel so bad that the Ninja Turtles are wearing weapons. Our kids will try to shove the Ninja Turtle weapons up their own anuses, and that's what makes me worry. Mm. And the dad don't care because he's a cuck. <laughs> Yonk, that was a good one. Well, he may be a cuck for all we know. <laughs> And Donatello replaced his bow staff for another bow staff. The more things change, the more they stay the same. For no, 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 no. Look at, look at Donatello for a minute. Donatello looks like he's about to 
beat you up and then somehow, some way, he's gonna try and steal your shadow. Like, bitch, I come for your shadow. Don't make me try to steal it. Don't make me try to snatch it from you. Just give it up. Give me your shadow. Give me your shadow. Most deaf. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Now, taken out of context, there's not a ton of information that we can pull from the weapons, but they all appear to be more high-tech than the classic Asian-influenced weapons that we're used to. Now, this could point to the weapons either being heavily upgraded by Donatello, or they could have some futuristic origin. Time travel has long no. been part of the TMNT franchise, and it'll be... I don't want to... I don't want another fast-forward! Fucking, I don't want to see the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles go through time again, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. No, he's not the future. Because we've done that before, and it was horrible. It was fucking horrible. It was fucking bad. You know, tomorrow, I'm thinking let's just show people fast forward. And let's just show them how it is. Oh, God. No, Bugsy. No, I just came into the room and, oh, God. Bugsy, no. It's like a Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Oh, damn, Jesus. Leo steals. Oh. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, God. Why? I don't know, man. I mean, they look passable, but look at Raph. Raph looking like you about to, like you about to rip into some, like he's looking like you about to rip into a mech and go, bitch, I own that shit. To see if they go there for the new series. And finally, everybody say hello to your new April O'Neil. Now, besides the obvious change of making her a black female instead of the traditional. Uh, all people who say they don't fucking care what race April is, I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care. Good, good, good. Look, Caucasian redhead. She also looks to be a lot younger than past April O'Neil. Personally, we're happy that Nickelodeon made an effort to diversify the cast of the new TMNT, and also making her a teenager will help her fit in with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, I feel like the Nerdist has not been watching the other Ninja Turtle show. This ain't really the first time. You know what? Jessica Joba looks like she's high when I paused it like this. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm just joking. Because I don't want people to say, oh, Buzzy, you hate Jessica Jobot. I'm like, no. I like freaking, I like the Nerdist. You know, like Jessica Jobot. What? <sighs> well, this was a lot shorter than we imagined. It is. But let me tell you something. We've been Brett. <laughs> but, I don't know, guys. What do you think about these new redesigns? I'm like, I'm going to give it a chance, but I, I'm i not going to say, like, I'm not going to say I don't freaking like these designs. Because I just look at Rass, I'm like, you know, some fucking executive was like, no, we gotta make Raph bigger. We gotta make Raph look like a look like the tough guy leader that he is. Guys, you know that is totally what they were thinking. Let's have it let's have an appeal to the Danny's kids because blah 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 demographic blah 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 blah. blah. And, you know, I really feel like people are just, they're trying to make April O'Neil black just to get, like, a reaction out of people. <clears throat> I just felt, I felt like that. Yeah. Hey, Bugsy, may there, may, may, may there isn't any social justice warrior overtones in this. Maybe. I know, but uh, I'm scared, you know. I don't know. I don't know, like, the. Look, you know, look like a goddamn. I'm gonna shit on everybody. 
That ain't a good thing. Well, I mean, it could be worse. I mean, like, it honestly could be worse. I hope, like, I really hope you know that. Yeah, but God dang! You know some executive was like, Brain Dude and Pinkasaur. You know, just like, we gotta make them edgy for the kids, make them all edgy and cool for the kids, oh yeah. And sell them toys. I mean, let's give it a shout out to Vidal, guys, before we start judging it, though. Yeah, because we'd be, we'd be no better than fucking Twip and the rest of the, rest of the Sonic fan base. And how they judged freaking Sonic Forces before it came out. And all the people that are now turning on, like, Sonic and the Ninja Turtles nowadays. Yep, let's give it a chance, but, uh... Oh my god, it's just... It, it's so bad! Oh god, this was... This was so bad, maybe they're, maybe they're gonna be good. Maybe it'll be good, maybe it'll be action-packed, maybe it'll be everything we want in a Ninja Turtles series, who knows? But, you know, you know, the last Ninja... Yeah, but it's still gotta compete with the last Ninja Turtles series, and that's a tough act to follow. Yeah, it is. It really is. So I'll see. So I'll see. So we'll see you guys later. I'm Bugsy. I'm Young, and I'm not talking like Mario. And I, quite frankly, I'm appalled. But we're gonna give this a chance, okay? We're gonna give this a chance. We're not gonna just blindly hate on it because that's what the internet loves to do anyway. Blindly hate on things that they don't understand. Because Brain Dude and Pinkasaur. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody gets that reference, if anybody gets that reference, we we you we owe you a cookie. We owe you a goddamn cookie. Like, eh. And we're not talking about raisin. We're talking about that straight up good peanut butter shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You get from that special bakery. And, you know, it's got, like, a lot of peanut butter in it. Little peanut butter chunks in there. And it's just... Mm. I was like, well, stop it. You're making my mouth water. Yeah, it's really mine, too. Well, sorry, guys. I'm just saying. They deserve a cookie. They deserve the finest cookie. Anyways, I think we're done. Yep, see you guys later. Bye, folks, and... Yeah, I know we, I know we thought, I know we said this was gonna be like us being angry, but, eh, you know, we don't know, we don't know how this show is gonna measure up right now. So at least we can do is give it a chance before we say we hate it. You know, at least watch a few episodes to see if we can get a general feel of these characters, uh, how new they are, how different they are, and you know, compare and contrast. That's what we're gonna do. Damn straight. Damn skippy. See you guys later.